thank y'all for having me here. I know most of you, but um, I'm Katrina Sheely, and I am the conservative Republican candidate running for Senate District 23. And um, before I tell you uh, what I want to do to move South Carolina's economy from uh, pitiful to prosperous, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and what qualifies me to lead the South Carolina Senate. Um, I've worked hard all my life. I started working when I was 13 years old in the grocery business for my father. I was a bag girl. Um, and, but now I'm working in the insurance business and I've been at the same job for the last 30 years. I've worked for Davis Garvin Insurance Agency right down the road and I've been in the insurance business since I was a junior in high school. And I plan to bring my strong work ethic and my business management skills to the South Carolina Senate. As a wife of a small business owner, I understand the problems that businesses, business owners face every day in this poor economy. And I know firsthand how the cost of health care and workers' compensation and all these government regulations that we have can threaten to drive business owners out of work. We see it every day. My husband owns Sheely and Sons, Elect Sheely and Sons Electric right down the street here. And it's tough. I mean, I can tell you, we, we see just about going out of business. And if we make it through another year, you know, we're, we're going to be happy. As Senator, I'm going to fight for small business owners to have fewer regulations and fewer government mandates so they can afford to keep people employed. I think that's the biggest struggle he has is going home every night and wondering if he's going to be able to keep his employees employed. I mean, he doesn't worry about himself so much. He's just worrying about all those people that work for him and hoping that he can keep having a job for them. In addition to my work experience, I have a long history of volunteer work in our community, and I've been a political activist for a long time, like most of you. I'm an accountable, principled leader, and I'm ready to lead the South Carolina Senate. I will be a leader on key issues that will create pro-growth economy for South Carolina. My reforms will lead to more jobs, especially higher paying jobs. The reforms I'm adopting as my platform are molded after a study by renowned economists commissioned by the South Carolina Policy Council. And we just had some of those speak here, I think, a month before last. So there isn't a lack of knowledge, it's just a lack of will to get it done. And I have that will. And I will lead the effort to implement fundamental reforms to free marketplace and unleash capitalism. So let's talk about tax reform. I want to lead the effort to simplify the tax system and develop a tax stru structure that doesn't pick winners and losers. We will save money for businesses and taxpayers by streamlining the tax system and making it simple to understand. When everyone can easily understand the system, it will be harder for politicians, politicians which I don't ever want y'all to call me that, don't call me politicians, and special interests to hide favors for friends. And we know a lot of that goes on over there in that state house too, don't we? This will result in a level playing field and providing transparency for businesses and individuals who pay for government. My plan is to implement all, to eliminate all state taxes and replace them with one simple sales tax. We will do away with all state taxes, including income tax, property taxes, and fees, and replace this revenue with an equitable sales tax. When the sales tax is the only source for government revenue, taxpayers will save a substantial amount of money. I will also lead the right to reduce industrial property tax. South Carolina has the highest industrial property tax in this nation. The state industrial tax is 3.75%, while our neighboring states of North Carolina and Georgia have 0.98% and 1.52% respectively. So it's no wonder that we have industrial parks sitting empty all across this state. And we have the highest unemployment, one of the highest unemployment rates in the nation. Regulatory reform will be another priority for my plan to improve our state's economy. I will lead the effort to eliminate wasteful and inefficient regulations and to create a market friendly regulatory system. The regulatory environment in South Carolina needs to be revised and simplified. Regulatory reform should have the goal of, one, fostering more entrepreneurship, attracting businesses from other states, and reducing government intervention in the marketplace. 
bold reforms will create more and higher paying jobs and an improved standard of living for South Carolinians. When the regulatory system is simplified and treats all people equally under the law, the government will no longer pick winners and losers. And the other fundamental component to our reform plan is education. We can no longer allow so-called conservatives in the General Assembly to hold up the proven effective model of competition within school choice. School choice is about freeing up parents to be consumers and freeing up schools to be innovative. Providing more choice and competition in education will give us better product for a better price. In addition to school choice, we must create an environment for innovation and flexibility in public schools by removing government restrictions on public schools funding on public school funding we need to eliminate the current funding structure so that school teachers can respond directly to the needs of their students and not some cookie cutter scheme designed in the dusty halls of the state house now you know who i am i'm katrina Sheely, and i'm a principled accountable leader i'm running for the south carolina senate and i need your help i have bold reform plans but i can't do them without you I need every one of you. I'm, I'm just one person. And I can go there and I can stand up and I can scream and I can stomp my feet, but I've got to get there first. And I need you to help me get there. I'm going to ask you to join me in going to beat Jake Knotts. And y'all know that he's a tough opponent. And, you know, you can get out there and you can help me. And we're going to win this time. You know, four years ago, we worked really hard, and at the end of those four years, I mean, at the end of that race, we won, we should have won that primary. We lost by 437 votes. <coughs> and in the runoff, the Democrats crossed that line, and they went, and they voted, and he beat me in the runoff. But we're not going to let that happen this time. So I need y'all to get out there and help me, and fight with me, and support me, so that we just take it home on the first vote. I hope we don't have anybody else in the primary. But if we do, we want to take it in the first vote. So I hope that y'all help me and support me. Rebecca's going to be out here when we get through. Rebecca, stand up, wave, do funny things. <laughs> Rebecca will be out there. But I hope that y'all will join me and that we'll win this year and bring it home. And we'll be working for you in the Senate. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, yes. Is your sales tax analogous or similar to the fair tax? It is. It's similar to the fair tax. Thank you. Yes, sir. How much is one of the big egg signs? How much one? Rebecca, how much are they? Uh, what the big saying? ones, four by eight, eight signs. I, I haven't ordered signs. They're about 50. I don't know. About how much? They generally cost about, about 50, 50 bucks. Yeah. Each. Something. Yeah, each. 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 Yeah, 47 something mm -hmm. each. Don't you have an event you want to talk about? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an event I would like to tell you about. I'm having an event on the 22nd. It's called Boots and Barbecue. And it's going to be um, the 22nd, 6 p.m. reception, 7 p.m. dinner. It's at Tom Boozer's um, getaway. It's called Tom's Den. And it's at the intersection of Highway 1 and I-20. And, you know, this is special because Tom Boozer never lets anybody have political events at his place. So it's really special to get to do that. So um, I would, if the information's out there. I'd love for y'all to take one of these. We'd love for y'all to come. We're going to have a big old time. You don't have to dress up. You can wear your blue jeans and your cowboy boots, and we're just going to have a good old time. So I'd love for y'all to come. I'd love for you to be there. Help me out. Maybe give enough to buy a yard sign, a big sign, a four by eight. That'd be great. Now that we know how much they cost, <laughs> I just know everything costs a lot. So it costs a lot to, to run an election, and I appreciate you bringing it up. But I would appreciate your help. Does anybody else have any questions? Yes. Katrina, I, I will never call you a politician, but what I want to do real bad is call you senator. Well, <laughs> I hope that you get to. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate uh, y'all having me here tonight. Thank you.